welcome to training mugs java coding challenges series in this session we'll discuss about one more coding challenge that is printing multiplication table from 1 to 10 let us understand the logic behind printing the multiplication table first what is a multiplication table is uh, this is a very simple program uh, to demonstrate uh, what is a multiplication table so multiplication table is uh, we'll start with 1 and then we'll say 1 into 1 that is equal to 1 and then 1 into 2 that is equal to 2 like that we will uh, multiply 1 with uh, till 10 numbers and then the resultant we are going to print like 1 into 4 is 4 1 into 5 is 5 and uh, 1 into 6 is 6 and 1 into 7 is equal to 7 1 into 8 is equals to 8 1 into 9 is equals to 9 and 1 equal 1 into 10 is equals to 10 so this is what the <coughs> uh, multiplication table for 1 and then similarly for 2 again it will start with 2 into 1 so that is 2 so that 2 into till 10 so now we're going to say 20 so like that we need to write a program that will print the multiplication table from 1 to 10 so uh, like this like 1 2 3 till 10 it is going to come so how you're going to find out the logic the logic is going to be very simple so if you closely understand this program now you see uh, we need two variables uh, one is uh, to store the variable value 1 but when the variable value is 1 there is another variable which is now incrementing from 1 to 10 so after uh, incrementing then we need to multiply both these numbers 1 into 1 and then second 1 into 2 1 into 3 like that which is going to give you the result and after this is iterated to 10 then again we need to start incrementing this variable to 2 and when it is 2 again this should start from 1 to 10 so this is a simple example of how nested first statements works so what is the nested first statement is first we'll take one outer for loop to handle this logic that like one two three so here i'm going to take a variable called integer i which i'm initializing it to one this we are printing multiplication table till 10 so we'll take i less than or equal to 10 now then i plus plus so till what multiplication table you want to print that value you have to give it here so now once this within the outer for loop we are going to write one more inner for loop where we are going to initialize one variable that is int j is equal to 1 we'll say j less than or equal to 10 and then j plus plus so now here what we need to do is we need to print i value which is multiplied with j value and then the resultant we need to print the resultant is going to be i multiplication j this is what the logic behind our program so when i value is 1 the condition is true so it will enter j will be incremented from 1 to 10 so it will be multiplied 1 into 1 1 into 2 1 into 3 like that till 10 once j value will become 11 the condition false so it will go here now i value will become 2 condition is true then again j will be 1 so like that from 1 to 10 it will print the multiplication table so let's write the code in eclipse now so let me create a new java class now i'm creating a new java class and then i'm naming this class as multiplication table so selecting my main method and clicking on finish so here uh, the logic is pretty straightforward we are printing the multiplication table uh, from 1 to 10 so directly i'm taking uh, the out of our loop to uh, uh, to initialize i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 and then i plus plus and then we require one more nested for loop to say uh, incrementing from 1 to 10 and then multiplying with the outer for loop value i less than j less than or equal to 10 j plus plus now simply what we need to do is we need to say system dot out dot print ln and then i need to multiply i uh, then i'm just printing 1 into 1 like that so if you want to multiply it then uh, then simply i'm just saying the multiplication symbol plus concatenated with j plus the equals value then is equals to plus i into j this is what the code now the code looks pretty simple now simply so i value is 1 till j 1 to 10 then we are multiplying and then we are displaying so let me run this program 
So once you run this program, if you look at your console, so we got the multiplication table, 1 to 10, and then 2 to 20, and then 3 to 10, and uh, fourth multiplication table, fifth multiplication table like that. So, uh, but organizing is so important. So if you want to print some separate line after this, then we need to or write something like this so that what it will do is after your multiplication table ends then it will print some separator like this so sometimes they'll ask you to print within the same line like example the 2 into 1 should come here uh, adjacent to it adjacent to it so within a single line you have to print all these things so now how we are going to do that is the logic is going to be same but here 1 into 1 and then 2 into 1 3 into 1 so now first you need to print j then you need to print i but this you should print within the same line. So what you need to do is instead of print ln, you need to print within the same line. So after this loop ends, then probably you can print within the new line. But while you're printing new line, should not uh, print it uh, like with a dash line. So if you if you do like this, so now it is going to come like this, like one into one. There is no separation. Two into one. There is no separation. Something like that. So what you have to do now is. So after this, it is now printing in a new line because we know that print is going to uh, print ln is going to come here itself. So what we do is uh, so here uh, uh, I don't want to print it here. So simply it it could be empty. So I don't want to pass anything to this. So but here how we are going to organize this is you can give a separator uh, line uh, plus uh, I'll use this separator called pi so that it will print all of them within the same line let me run it so now this is what uh, your code looks like but it's not properly formatted because you know when you have a single digit is coming like this two digits is coming like this if you want to uh, format it neatly then how you are going to do it is so you have to uh, format this whole uh, uh, multiplication table so by using printf function so if you want to format then we have to use printf instead of using print or println so uh, if you know that how you going to format this now simply first we need to mention what is the format specifier this is percentage d and then multiplication percentage d then uh, equals to percentage d and then here we need to pass what are the values the values are going to be first is j second is going to be i and third is the multiplication of i into j but how you're going to format this i want to give some special digits like uh, two digit values and two digit values and then the resulting is going to be three digits sometimes because 10 into 10 will give you 100 which is going to be a three digit now here uh, to make these values left aligned we need to use minus symbol like this so and after printing this then we need to print within the new line so it is now going to execute and then if you want to give any uh, after this if you want to have any pipe symbol then probably you can give a pipe separator like this now when you run it see your multiplication table is properly aligned now and after this pipe if you want to give some more spaces then you can give some more spaces here too so now run it so now this is what your multiplication table looks like so it's all about uh, formatting your output by using system.out.printf. So this is what the format specifies.